It isn't the Australian experience these backpackers imagined. Follow the sun, not in winter. We didn't plan to be in winter in Australia. COVID-19 caught these international visitors on the hop. We start to travel and everything starts to close and we have to stop and we lose a lot of money because we have to take an Airbnb. Blaze Aid is a volunteer-based organisation that's helping bushfire-affected communities recover. And here in Braidwood, it's offering a safe haven for travellers who would otherwise have nowhere to go. <laughs> I had a journey to trek around Australia. I'm a, a travelling solo nomad, so uh, yeah, it's been an, an absolute blessing. <laughs> yeah, it's like a big family. Very uh, wholesome. It's good fun. It's nice to be a part of something as well. In exchange for bed and board, they're rebuilding hundreds of kilometres of fencing for producers who are trying to get farms back up and running during the coronavirus pandemic. It's a godsend to have help with it. Uh, it's just as important as roads and railways. Since March, 2,000 backpackers have contributed to the effort in camps across southeastern Australia. We've been able to achieve a lot more because they're a lot younger. Without them, BlazeAid says it would have been forced to pull out of some communities due to the age of their volunteers. BlazeAid generally is seen as a, an older retiree, grey nomad type thing, to have this influx of people that just make us feel really good and we're very proud of them. A temporary change to the working holiday rules means this volunteer work counts towards the 88 days backpackers need to extend their visas. We've got, I think, one day left on our visa and then we're up, so we caught it just in time. <laughs> we work for a good cause and not just for earn money and have our second visa. We help people and we think that's a better way to have our visa. Even though the COVID has been terrible here, Bringing the backpackers in, it's, it's been fantastic. Made us old blokes a bit younger. Much needed connections forged between two generations caught up in a crisis. Peter Doherty, ABC News, Braidwood.